In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a neon text effect like this in Adobe XD. The first thing we'll do is change the background color so that we'll be able to see the neon effect that we create. To do this, we'll click on the name of the artboard to select it and then go over to the fill color and change it. I'm going to use a dark blue. Next, press T on your keyboard to bring up the text tool and type out text. For this example, I'm going to create a neon sign for the name, the Skyline Diner. I'll use the align tool to center the text in the artboard, and then I'll change the typeface to Pauline. If you happen to have access to Adobe fonts, then you can activate this font for free. The key to making this look like a genuine neon sign is to find a font that goes with it. This one is a monoline script and goes perfectly with what I had in mind. Keep the fill for the text white and then check the box to add a stroke. And here you can use any color you want, but I'm going to be making a blue neon sign. So here I'll choose a brighter blue. You can also play around with the size of the stroke. Just press the arrow up or down key and you can see how it looks. I'm going to go with three. Next, check the box for shadow, but we want the shadow to be the same color as the outline. So in this case, the bright blue. You can do that by copying the hex code from the stroke and then pasting it here. I like to change the opacity for the shadow to 100%, but again, this is something that you can adjust to your liking. Since we want the shadow to radiate from the text from all sides, we'll change the X and Y to zero. And then for B, for blur amount, you can adjust this however you like. I like it to be really dramatic, so I'm going to go with something around 30. You can see that this is already creating a really cool neon sign effect, but we can take it one step further. Select your text, copy and paste it, so now we have two of them, and select the copy that's in the background. This is easiest to do by clicking into your layers and choosing the one that's on the bottom. With that text selected, uncheck the shadow and stroke, and select object blur, which is underneath background blur and play around with the number. You'll also want to change the fill to the same blue color or whatever color you're using. You can play around with the number for the object blur. I'm using 50 here. If you feel like it's too bright or overpowering, you can adjust the opacity. So that's the basis for how you create this effect, but I'm going to take it a little bit further and turn it into a circular sign. So the first thing I'm going to do is stack the text so that skyline is on one line and diner is on the next. So I'll just go in and press enter and do that to both of the text layers. With both of them selected, I'll also adjust the leading, which is the space between the lines because right now there's too much space. I'll move that down and with both of them selected, I'll press option and drag with my mouse to create a copy. With both selected, I will scale down because I want this to be much smaller than the rest of the text. I'll delete the text and type out the. Again, make sure to do it for both of the layers. I'll use the align tool to center everything on the artboard and then just adjust the sizing a little bit to make sure everything looks good together. Press E on your keyboard to bring up the ellipse tool. Press option and shift to create a perfect circle from the middle. We'll remove the border, and we want to copy this circle and paste another one on top. With the second ellipse selected, press Option, Shift, and drag inward to make it smaller. With both of the circles selected, go over here and select Subtraction. Basically, this punches out the second circle into the first. And the reason we're doing this is because we need to be able to change both the fill and the shape. Trying to create this neon effect with one circle wouldn't work because it would fill the entire circle, but by making our own circular border, it will work. Then we want to apply the same effects that we created on the text to this new shape. To make things easier in the color panel, you can press the plus sign to create a color swatch. Then you won't have to copy and paste the same hex code number. 
So leave the fill color white, change the border to the same blue and about the same width, so three. Add a shadow with the same blue color and opacity level. Then we'll adjust everything so that the text fits nicely within the circle. To create more of that outer glow, we'll select this subtraction shape, copy and paste it. And with the one in the background selected, we'll select object blur and do the same thing, no shadow, and then adjust to 50 or whatever you like. And that's it, you've created this really cool neon sign effect all in Adobe XD. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more. Also check out one of these videos next.